Today we're talking about... Hey, I'm Gina, I'm a dental hygienist, and you're watching Burst TV. Real talk for a second. Your teeth can and likely will change color over time. It could be from foods, drinks that have stained your teeth, looking at you, coffee, wine, smoking, aging, trauma, or even certain medication. The most common question I get asked by my patients is how they can brighten their smile. There's toothpaste, gels, trays, strips. Where do you even start? And the newest trend? LED lights. Do any of these things actually work to make your teeth brighter? Today we're talking about different options for whitening your teeth. So let's break it down a little bit. How does teeth whitening actually work? And what's the safest way to get the best result without doing any damage to your enamel? So let's first talk about whitening toothpaste. You probably already use it in your day-to-day -day routine. It contains an ingredient called silica, which is an abrasive. It helps to remove a little bit of stain, helps prevent stain. It's great for day-to-day -day use, but you probably are not gonna get a huge improvement in your smile by just using toothpaste. So this is where hydrogen peroxide and carbamide peroxide come in as ingredients to actually change the coloring of your teeth. Whitening strips, gels, and even in-office whitening options all contain either hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide, which work by breaking down stains and whitening your teeth from inside out, improving the appearance of your teeth in as little as a week of daily use. In-office whitening with LED lights is also an option. However, this is usually pretty pricey. It's at least $500, and you'll still need to use whitening trays for a week to two weeks after you spend the money and the time in the dental chair. In my experience, a lot of dentists have actually gotten away from using this method because patients can get the same result with whitening trays at home, skipping the office process and the expense of it too. But what about LED lights that you can use at home? I'm sure I'm not the only one seeing ads all over social media that claim to whiten your teeth using these lights. Well, basically the way they work is that you would still use a whitening gel that contains either carbamide peroxide or hydrogen peroxide. And then you would put in the LED light mouth guard in conjunction with it. Naturally, I had to try the product for myself. So what I did was I put on the whitening gel first on my front teeth, and then I added the LED whitening light. I gotta say it was a pretty fun process, but I wasn't sure whether it yielded better results or not. So what does the LED light actually do to add to the process for it to work better? Well, what it does is it aids in dehydrating your teeth. So when your teeth are dehydrated, it makes them have a brighter appearance initially, but over time, it doesn't make much of a difference. The research studies done on this type of whitening show that just as with using an in-office whitening with an LED light, using one at home doesn't actually make a long-term difference in improving the shade of your teeth. You may see your teeth become brighter at first when you use one, but that result is very temporary because of the temporary dehydration of your teeth. Basically, you still need to go through the same process of wearing whitening strips for at least a week with or without the light. And from what I've seen, most of these systems actually charge extra when they include the LED light too. Will it hurt to use it? Definitely not, but it won't do much more than the peroxide gel already does without the light for long-term results. So in my professional opinion and based on the clinical research on LED whitening lights, I hate to say this, but don't waste your extra money on it. One short note on whitening and sensitivity. If you know your teeth are generally sensitive, it might be helpful to actually use a sensitivity toothpaste that has either stannous fluoride, potassium nitrate, or arginine a few weeks before, during, and after whitening. If you notice a lot of sensitivity while using a whitening gel or strips, you can always skip a day and go back or even shorten your wear time every day. Some people also may need more than one week of use to see significant results. And before using any kind of whitening system, always check in with your dentist, make sure your mouth is healthy. Using whitening gels if you have any kind of infection, gum disease, or tooth decay can actually cause more problems. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave any questions in the comment section below. And as always, if you like our videos, hit the like and subscribe button. We have new videos coming out every week on Burst TV. So let us know what other topics you wanna know more about because we got you covered.